Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Pack. A little bit of work between episodes. I've been working on the ghost bow that we picked up from Weapon Case Loot a few episodes ago. Uh, put a bunch of enchantments on it. Unfortunately, every time I fire it, my client crashes. So, <laughs> so I'd love to show you how awesome it is, but uh, yeah, I've tried twice now. This is the third time I've recorded this intro, and uh, I keep crashing. So we're just going to shelve that for a minute. What I'd like to get in today, uh, into today is actually RF Tools Dimensions. You can actually build your own custom dimensions and do some pretty cool things with them. And I kind of want to play around with that a little bit. So um, one thing you will get is these dimlet parcels. And if we look at that, dimlet parcels, here we go. Uh, you can't actually craft them at all. You just find them in chests and then you'll get all sorts of super fun dimlets that are used for different things. Dimlet energy modules, base parts, controllers, all sorts of different things like so. Uh, let's grab a chest here real quick. I'll just plop it down right here. And we're just going to put these in here so they don't take up all this inventory space at the moment. But basically these are used to kind of specify the parameters, I guess, of your dimlet. Uh, or, or, and basically what your dimlet is, is the dimension that you're creating. So if we look at RF tools dimensions, uh, there's a few different things that we're going to need to kind of get started here. And a couple of them we actually already have, and that would be the teleporter and stuff like that. But then we also need, uh, let's see, a dimension, well, I'm going to need a couple of these machine frames, it appears. Let's make like four of those. I'm going to need a dimension inscriber. I'm going to need a dimension builder. I'm going to need a dimension editor. And I'm probably going to need one of these dimlet workbenches as well. Let's see. And I need, I really don't have any, I don't. Okay, uh, let's just make a stack of spruce planks and throw those in there. And we'll make two crafting tables. There we go. And then I needed a dimension, uh, or actually it was dimlet editor, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, dimlet workbench. I need a dimlet base part to make that. And I've got one right here. Fantastic. So let's throw that in and let's make one of those guys as well. So we got these four items. Um, now I need to find a place to power these. Oh, that was, well, eh, whatever. It's fine. We can throw the stuff in there for now. We'll just toss all of our dimlets into this thing. Beautiful. All right. Let's head up to the main floor just because I've got some uh, kind of basic power here, and this is a mod that I've played around with in 1.7.10, but I haven't played around with it uh, since, and I certainly haven't played around with it in 1.10, so I'm interested to see how it's changed, because this actually used to be part of RF Tools, and now it's its own separate mod, which is closely related to RF Tools, but isn't actually RF Tools Hey, do you know what the sugarcane spikes are called? Pungy sticks. No problem. <laughs> anyway, uh, where, what was I? Oh yes, I remember. Uh, you know what? We need a larger hole in the floor. Otherwise, I'm going to be trying to jump through a one block hole forever and ever. Let's grab some energy conduits here. And let's just bring this down a little bit so we can actually play around with this. Now, I don't think the Dimlet workbench, well, apparently it does require power. And in fact, then all of these may require power because I know, I know, okay, that guy doesn't, this guy does, and that's the dimension editor. This is the dimension inscriber. And this is the Dimlet workbench. So previously, I believe, 
if we toss this stuff in here. Previously, I don't think that this was a thing. I, I, I don't think this thing existed. Um, so now, if I want, say, what do I really want here? Can I, actually, there's another thing. Can I extract? Can I put stuff in up here? Doesn't look like it. So let's say I want, I can't scroll. Oh, I can scroll that down. Oh, wow. Okay. So what I'm really looking for, glowing dark emerald, glowing, 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 blocks, various blocks, emerald, Biomass, air, coolant, construction. What I'm really looking for is the ability to make a Yellorium dimension that has just a ton of Yellorium. Now, it says that this is going to be the stuff that we need. And... These are all fine too. Protein, helium... Orange block, rand. It, there's a lot of just like random stuff in here. It's gonna be it's gonna be kind of hard to find what I'm looking for, actually. Um, transparent dark type material. Transparent transport. Oh, here we go. Chiseled sandstone. Let me look through these real quick. I'll be back with you in a sec. All right, guys, I am back. And actually, I didn't even realize that there's actually a um, a search bar here, which I probably should have realized and made use of, but I didn't think about it. And now I look like an idiot. Um, <laughs> but there, it appears that there is no Yellorium. There's a, this one tile big reactors, but that's a liquid, and I don't need liquid Yellorium. I need regular uh, Yellorium, either or or something like that. Uh, however, there are some other things that we could possibly use. Entity Forestry, Ardite, Orgen, Dimensional Shards, that could be useful. That's used for a lot of different stuff in Escalium Ore. Can I make an Escalium Ore Dimlet? That would be a great present for Iskull. That would be a fantastic present for Iskull. Or resonating ore, actually. That could be useful as well if we wanted to do deep resonance for our power. There's just so many options here. Nether quartz, that could be useful. Ender biotite. Ardite. Man, there's so many good, so many good options. Let's try the Escalium. And then I need to figure out RF tools. How do I make... Aha! Like a so. Okay. Let's try that out. Did Exuma just say that? Um, I'm personally using solar from environmental tech. Uh... Mechanism is also a good option. Let's see. So we need to make one of these guys, and it looks like I don't actually have any wool. Do I have shears? I do. Ooh, and there's this... Well, yeah, let's use just the regular ones. I oh, No, 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 no. Let's try out the ender shears. I mean, come on. I'm not going to have enough. I'm probably not going to have a use for them in the near future anyway. Let's see, I do have my coin of fortune, and I know there was a sheep that I had seen. How much does it generate per tier 2 block? Um, it's a multi-block structure. How big is this thing? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
7 by... Uh, don't remember if I did or not. Um, I know I did for the tier 1. Tier 2 is basically the same, just bigger. It's 7 by 2 by 7. I, er, is that right? Yeah, 7 by 2 by 7, I believe. And how much does it generate? What is it, like 5,000 RF per tick or something like that? Do, 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 do. Let's actually check. At environmental, we'll check the guide. Uh, solar array. Tier 2. Generates 64 RF per tick. Just look up the digital guide. It'll tell you everything you need to know. There we go. That's what I'm working on right now. No, not at night. Okay. So, uh, where where was I before I got sidetracked helping you zoom out? Oh yeah, we were going to get sheep. Uh, and there was one like over here. So this thing says r long range sheep shearing. How long? Oh. Oh, you throw it? <laughs> Do you? Is this like a boomerang? Cause that might be the most the most amazing thing ever. Oh, but it looks like it's only one time use. Oh, that's not nearly as good. <laughs> Still, it seems like it's only one time use. Yeah. Well, that makes it much less useful. That's too bad. Otherwise, that would be amazing. <laughs> Still, it's it's a fun little item. Uh, let's just shear up some sheep so I can get some wool. And then I will head back to the base so we can make what we need. All right, guys, I am back, and I've got a fair amount of wool. Uh, not, a, not a massive quantity, but enough for our purposes here, at least. So let's go ahead and make one of these material absorbers. Oh, you know what? I actually need a machine frame. There we go. So let's make one of those, and then let's pop back down here, and if we throw that in here, can I, can I now make this? Oh, so you click here, but you need, oh, so I don't have the things that I need to do that. Okay. Got it. So what about, like, redstone? Now I see a th the Dimlet Control Circuit, Rarity 3. So basically I would need better Dimlet Control Circuits, is what it appears. So... Let's try something simple then. Let's just try and make a desert, so I don't have to go so far away to mine when I need sand for glass and stuff like that. Let's just try, let's try, try and keep this pretty simple. So I need one of these biome absorbers. We'll do that. And we'll just grab one of those. And I think my wife just knocked over something. <laughs> what are you doing through the other wall, dear? <laughs> Hopefully the microphone can't pick that up. Uh, anyway, desert. So, what do I need? I need other thing? I need that. 
Ah, uh, something else I don't have. Is there anything that I can make using this at all? I don't think there is. Hmm. Okay, so in that case, let's try something else. Let's just go... Uh, where's, where's my hole? There it is. Here's my hole in the floor, ceiling thing. Uh, let's try and make a empty dimension tab. And let's put that into the dimension inscriber. And then we store... These are all just, like, parts. Which is not what I need, though. And then this is a dimension editor. Inscriber dimlet workbench. Do I have any other dimlets in here by any chance that I can, like, extract from? No. Deconstructing other dimlets in the dimlet workbench. In the same workbench, you can also use this to make new dimlets. Okay. Oh, but you can make dimlets this way. Aha! I see. Gotcha. So... Okay, can I... But I can't make dimlet parcels. So if I make a... Feature dimlet. Like that. And then that can go in here. I can hit extract. Deconstructed dimlet into its parts. Okay, doesn't say anything there. This affects various features of the dimension. Some of these features need material or liquid modifiers, which you have to put in front of the feature. Okay. So it looks like, yeah, this has definitely changed considerably. It used to be you'd just get tons of dimlets and just do kind of whatever with them. Um, but it looks like that has certainly changed a bit. Controller dimlet template. That needs dimensional shards, which I certainly don't have. Terrain dimlet, void, terrain dimlet, flat, and I need dimensional shards for that. Okay, so, digit, zero, one, two, that stuff doesn't matter, I don't think. No effect, unique dimensions with exactly the same dimlet, okay, yep. Sky, normal. Normal day, normal night. Why would I want a normal night dim? That's just a terrible plan. I may have to, though, because I'm not seeing... Those are all dimlets. Dimlet water. Liquid. Liquid dimlet. Water? Sure, we'll make one of those. Those are all digits as well. Mob dimlet. Can't do that without the dimensional shard things. Terrain. Sky. Normal. Normal night. Looks like normal night's the only one that I can actually make. Time. Can't really affect that. Material. Stone, I guess. All right, let's just try, let's try some of these things and just see what happens. So we had a dimension here. We can put this stuff in. There are dangling modifiers. So it just says, okay. So if I hit store, realize dimension, and then we put this guy in here, or I'm sorry, in here. That's going to create this dimlet. And it's now created. Cost 10 RF per tick. Okay, let's pop up. And I also need, I need my teleporty things to actually get there. So 
Uh, I've actually got a couple of them over here. Let's just borrow these. And in fact, I do want to kind of move this into my base in the near future. So let's just break these as well. We'll, uh, we'll put them somewhere else in a little bit. But this should work. And I do have my um, advanced charge porter, which can, which can bring me back here if I run into problems. So let's go down here real quick. And let's just break those out, grab these energy conduits down here, and we'll just run them like this, I think. And then we can actually get rid of all of those. And then we'll put matter receiver, matter transmitter, and actually I kind of need some of these to be up here. This is just a temporary setup, by the way. Don't, uh, don't panic. I know this looks terrible, but once we get this all figured out, we'll find a better place to put it. Dialing device, and then the matter booster needs to go next to the transmitter, I believe. Like so. So if I go here to this, hit dial once, this should take me into the dimlet that we've just created so I can look at it and see kind of what everything looks like and all that kind of stuff. Do I have anything in here? No. All right. I think I am ready. Let's give this a try and just see what we get. So here we go. We have landed in what appears to be a mushroom by... Is this... This is weird. We are in a mushroom island, complete with mushrooms, but it looks like the whole world is made of cobble. And then there's some of these things around as well. Uh, I should probably bookmark this, otherwise I will never... Well, then again, it doesn't really matter, because there's no way to get... there. There's no actual teleportation device there for me to get back. So let's just swing over here, since I'm just basically going to be teleporting home anyway. And we should be able to come in here and get some of these. There we go. So that's basically then how you get more dimensions, is what it looks like. Is by exploring dimensions that you've essentially already been to. So you create new dimensions. And then once they're created, you can run around and look for new stuff. Hopefully find what you're looking for. I'm not seeing any ore or anything like that. But that certainly doesn't mean it's non-existent. It just means I'm not finding it. Let's make a way to get in here. I can take all of those. Take all of these. Biome. Mushroom Island. Very cool. Yeah, so... This makes sense now. So basically, the thing you need to do, I guess, is just create a new dimension as quickly as you possibly can. Just, the sim just something simple, something easy. And then once you've got that done, you can explore that dimension and look for stuff. And the interesting thing, we're here in a mushroom biome, or a mushroom island. So we're not really concerned at all about mob spawns or anything like that. Um, the actual cost to keep this dimension up and running is only like 10 RF per tick. And I know I told Exuma I was using the, the solar power from um, environmental tech, which is true. I am. That is my primary source of power. But I also have a couple of mechanism wind turbines that are running uh, as well, which should... Ooh, although I don't know if those chunks are loaded now that I think about it. Huh. That could be problematic. This poor mushroom, he's just trapped up there. And now we are apparently out of a mushroom island. We are now in jungle hills because I see mobs spawning all over the place. So, something has changed. Get, get inside. Thank you. Although, I also have all the charms, so I'm not really concerned about that either. Now that I actually think about it. 
wouldn't really be a big deal. And we get more of these Dimlet parcels. Aha! Okay, so I'm gonna do some exploring. I'm gonna look around a bit, see what else I can find, see if I can find some more Dimlet tabs and things like that. Probably do a little bit of mining as well, just to see if ores are spawning here at all. And uh, I'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So uh, it appeared that the world that we generated not did not have any um, ores whatsoever. So no ores. Uh, we did find a ton of dimlets, though, and a bunch of these dimlet, dimlet parcels, too. So we got all sorts of good stuff there, and I think we can then use those to kind of balance some of this out. Uh, let's try and need to kind of clear out my inventory, too, because a lot of my inventory is just a disaster right now. There we go. Uh, let's get up here. And let's try and take the things that are not supposed to go in there and put them over here instead. There we go. So now we've got different dimlets. So we've got like a cold taiga, mesa, mushroom island, river, dig speed one, hunger two, stronger mobs, wither, can yet's clean, hewn liquid ore, volcanoes, molten gold, molten obsidian. You can see here now we're getting, now I've actually got some dimlet effects. Dirt, diorite, dimensional shard ore. That's probably one that I want. Maintain 10,000 RF per tick. Whew. Ouch. That's, that's painful. Um, but you can see there's a lot of different stuff in here now. So, for example, if, and I think if we put this material dirt, or uh, let's actually maybe do this feature one since I, it's what I have. Yeah, it extracts over here. So... What we really need is something that can hold dimlets. I need, like, a dimlet... <laughs> there needs to be, like, a dimlet chest <laughs> or something like that. Uh, dimension monitor, biome absorber, dimension inscriber. Yeah, there, there really needs to be, like, a, dim, uh, a dimlet bag or, <laughs> or, or something. Some, just because they take up so much inventory space otherwise. Uh, the other alternative, though, here's what we could probably do. So we put this stuff all back. Anything I've got more than one of, I can throw in here and extract. Like so. can do the same there. So the green ones are parts, and the light blue ones are not. Okay, and it looks like that one can't actually be extracted. But we got rarity three, one, two. We got some stuff. We got some decent stuff here. Um, and we got some options as far as being able to uh, create new dimlets as well and new dimensions. So we will also have to find a better place for this because this is just not doing, this just isn't doing it for me. Um, but good to know, good to know that we figured out how to get to other dimensions and all that kind of good stuff. I should probably grab a couple of those mushrooms just in case. Um, do I have anything? I actually don't have anything to grab mobs with. Hmm. I could get some of the soul. I mean, I have. Well, yeah, I do have one. I do have one soul vial. That'll work. I'll just grab one mushroom. Uh, we'll throw that guy back in here. But that is basically this whole dimension thing in a nutshell. At least the basics of it. We'll have to get into it more at a later time because, guys, I am unfortunately out of time for this episode. So, my friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.